What's up everybody? In this video, I will discuss the top five cutting benefits, all of which will be timestamped. So the number one reason, which is not my favorite, but it is for many of you, it's having that leaner looking face, chiseled jawline, sunken cheeks, visible cheekbones, structure, definition. And it is 100% true that when you go from a higher state to a lower body fat percentage, you see more of these features. It brings out the best of your facial aesthetics. And many of you would prefer to look leaner in the face than being massive. You might really love the size and strength benefits of bulking as well as the appearance that it gives you. But because it bloats up your face, you'd rather be in a lower body fat percentage even if you know it makes you look smaller. So for many of you, that trade-off is worth it. Especially if you are clean shaven or you rock a light stubble or you don't have a heavy beard. Because the reality is that if you are bare mode and you have a really long beard, most of the face chub is covered. You won't even see it. I've seen guys who weigh 250 pounds and they have super long wizard beards and they look just as lean as me in the face department because of the beard alone. So when talking about illusion strategies, we can mask the bloated appearance to a large extent. But if you are clean shaven or you don't have a heavy beard, then obviously that will be shown. Those are some factors to consider, but I can say as a general rule of thumb, if you lean down, your facial aesthetics will improve. And for many, that trade-off is 100% worth it. The second reason is that you are revealing the muscular definition and the proportions and basically everything that has been hiding underneath that body fat. Basically, if you've been perm bulking for a long period of time, you have very likely accumulated large amounts of muscle mass. I had a guy tell me that he's been bulking from 2012 till now and he reached a 180 kilogram bench press drug free. Imagine if this dude cuts down, like he's gonna look like a freaking competitive bodybuilder. I'm just assuming here, but that's likely going to be the case. So for every permabulker or for anyone who's been in a higher body fat for a long period of time, the moment you cut down, you reveal the aesthetics and you're going to typically look pretty good. And I'll use myself as an example here. I was in a fluffy state for years and then I did a, the legendary cut, if you will, went from 186 to 160 and you saw all the muscular definition. And I looked pretty aesthetic, pretty good. So it's cool to see what is underneath the fat. You are revealing the aesthetics, and when you take the shirt off, obviously, it's going to be good. Uh, for Instagram photos, if you're shirtless and you're posing with the right lighting and everything, it's going to be better. If you're someone who chases aesthetics, you don't care about being a mass monster, you don't care about being huge, well, then cutting will bring you down to the weight class that maybe you should be in, you know? And you might really like the aesthetic look. The next benefit, which can be seen as a pro or a con, is that you simply have less food requirements. If you went from 250 pounds to 170 pounds, you don't need to eat as much food anymore. That's just a giver. Like we're talking thousands of less calories here. You got fat in the first place, right? You were eating too much. You're not shoveling all this freaking food down your throat. You don't have to worry about force feeding. You don't have to worry about being in a calorie surplus. You don't have to worry about eating all the freaking time. Because the reality is that for many hard gainers, gaining weight is an incredible task. It requires extreme planning, extreme force feeding, extreme measures, period. That's why I'm saying this is a pro and con approach because if you are naturally fat, then you might not like this for now. But eventually you will adapt to this new diet, to this new lifestyle, and you simply won't need as much food. You are eating to live. You are eating for performance. You are eating for health. You are no longer eating to meet the demands of your food addictions, okay? In a way, you're teaching yourself proper habits. You're eating back to the way that you probably should be eating. Less food. And that'll bring me on to my next point. Health. This should have been the number one reason, but if I start off a video saying, all right, so the number one reason is health, people are gonna click off because they don't wanna hear that. It is extremely unfortunate that health is not the most important topic in the fitness community. It should be. Extending lifespan, eating healthy, living a stress-free life, doing things that enhance your well-being. I mean, health truly is number one. It's above muscles, it's above everything. And whenever I hear guys saying, oh, cardio kills your gains, it's like, it doesn't. But even if it would, like, who cares? Health is more important. When I see people eating all this garbage food, it's like, bro, health is number one. But besides that little side tangent there, yes, when you cut, if you were obese or if you were in a very high body fat percentage and you get down to leaner state, you're probably gonna be healthier. I don't know what range you're trying to hit in, but once you no longer have a gut, once your waist is in a reasonable range, I mean, you're healthier, man. You're going to live a longer life. You're going to feel much better, far less bloated. You'll have less digestive issues, less breathing problems. Your, your health will just improve dramatically when you go from being super heavy to a leaner state. 
Now, don't take this out of context now. When I talk about bear mode, that's 15, 20% body fat, which I still consider to be a healthy range. 20% being the top though. Realistically, 15 is better. Besides that, yeah, health. I mean, it's, it's a giver. And usually when people cut, they're going to do more cardio as well, which is always a great thing for your body. So you're doing more cardio, you're eating more clean foods, you're probably changing your habits for the long term. So I think for the health benefits alone, it is very, very worth it. And then the final benefit, which is a pretty awesome one, is that it can really help people who are struggling with body dysmorphia. If you're someone who's always wanting to be big, cutting will humble you because you will feel very, very small. When I lost 26 pounds, I felt tiny, dude. It was unbelievable. I had body dysmorphia through the roof, okay? I know that in Instagram photos, you can't really see that so much because the posing, the lighting and all that, and the, it's not the same, okay? It's not the same. Your shirts go down in size, look smaller in the real world, in real life, okay? When you're in an unflexed state, body dysmorphia tends to kick in pretty hard when you just finish a cut. You just feel small. You feel depleted. You feel weaker. It will kick in. But if you can push through that part, then you maintain this lean state for long enough, you'll be content with it. You'll be like, okay. It's all right. I'm not as big as I used to be, but it's, it's okay. There's all these other benefits. I'm healthy. My relative strength is better. You learn to deal with what used to be pain. And now I find through my experiences that the body dysmorphia goes down. So if you have body dysmorphia and you go from a very heavy weight, maybe you went through a similar transformation to me, you might feel that it goes down a lot and you'll be happy with yourself too, because now you don't have this pressure of being big all the time. I look at myself in the mirror. It's like, I look like an MMA fighter, realistically speaking. I don't look like I used to when I was in bear mode. Bear mode, man, it was just an unbelievable state. I loved it so much for the size benefits. It's just, it's so freaking badass. Everything about it is amazing. But I'm no longer obsessed with being super big. And I think that cutting definitely helped. And I think for you, it would do the same thing. So those are some five benefits, okay? I got a lot more I can speak of. I have bonus lists, okay? But I'm gonna keep this video simple, straight to the point. So I hope you learned something. Give me your feedback down below and I'll talk to you all next time.